everyone, this is Vuero Otomewo Oriaki again, popularly known as Lady V, your motivational speaker and your confidence coach. Today, I'll be talking about bullying. Now, before I go on, I want to say this quickly. For you to be bullied in the first place is a sign of your importance. Think about it. You are bullied. Why? There are other people there, but you are constantly bullied. There's something about you. Now, why do bullies bully in the first place? Why do they bully people in the first place? One, jealousy. Oh, yes, jealousy. There's something you have that they don't have. Two, rivalry. Competition. Sounds right? Competition. Three, insecurity. Inferiority complex, yes. Why are you insecure? Mr. A or Miss A has something that you don't have. So instead of you to appreciate Miss A or Mr. A, instead of you to compliment Miss A or Mr. A, you start bullying the person. There are many, many ways of knowing if someone is being bullied. Sometimes people are so naive. Instead of either rising up to the situation or going to seek help or report to a more superior, superior individual or a senior, they start dancing the tone, to the tone of the, of the bully. Now, how do you know you are bullied? Number one, things keep repeating itself. Situations that upset you keep repeating itself. Number two, duration of, and you know, you, 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 you endure things. Instead of you to enjoy things, you start enduring things for a long time, for a period of time. That's a sign of bullying. That's a sign that you're being bullied. Number three, escalation. For no reason, things start, you know, you get angry for no reason. That's a sign that you're being bullied. Number four, power disparity. You can't defend yourself or you feel overpowered to defend yourself. That is bullying. That's a sign that you're being bullied. Bully happens amongst, in many places, whether with children or adults. It happens in schools. It happens in social media, yeah? It happens in families, yes, families. It happens in workplaces like offices and even in places of worship. Yes, you find people changing churches because they feel they're helpless. I've seen cases where people are not happy. They are even scared to report to the elders or the pastors or whatever because they are scared of people being victimized. They are scared of people, you know, punishing them or withdrawing um, favors or, you know, being blacklisted in the church. So you find somebody being in one church for six months, one year, and they jump into another church and they jump into another church. Same old story because it keeps continuing. How do we solve all these problems? Because there's a lot of problems. How do we solve these problems? Number one, try to be strong for yourself. Which brings us back again to what I said before. If you spend time with yourself, bringing yourself up, building yourself up, you will be strong in times of trouble. Try to build yourself up by reading, praying, attending seminars, having good friends, and encouraging yourself. Lots of affirmation to yourself. Number two, how do you encourage, how do you fight bullies? Speak out. Stand for yourself, if possible, face to face to the ones bullying you and let them know that you will not continue, you will not take that rubbish. Let them be aware that this cannot be continued. If you try and stand up for yourself, I'm sure 40% of the bullies will, will retrace their steps. In other words, they are now sure that you can fight for yourself and the bully will not continue. Number three, don't run away from it. Get help, either from a superior officer or from a good friend or from families or a colleague or whatever. Just report the situation and get help. Number four or the final one, if you think you've, you've tried all this and you cannot cope, change your vicinity. We're talking of schools, you may want to change your school, you may want to change office, you may want to change your church, whatever, just change, just relocate. Because it's better to be celebrated than to be tolerated. So if you've been bullied all the time, there's a tendency that you will not be happy. You will lose your peace, you will lose your joy. If you cannot fight back, 
if you cannot report the situation, if you cannot get help, change the vicinity, relocate from that environment, change your place of worship, change your place of school, um, schooling, change your place of office or your workplace. Now with workplace, it might not be easy to just get another job. So in the process of you trying to get another job, seek help, okay? Now, this is almost the end. We may come back with more points about bullying because it's a broad topic. You can also I'll advise that you check my blog. I have a very, very detailed, you know, blog about bullying. My name is Vowero Otomewo Oriaki, popularly known as Lady B. I come to you from time to time to build your confidence and to inspire you. Until I see you again, thanks for watching.